Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan. Today, I'm going to show you how to add collectibles to your games. Now, collectibles are really pretty interesting because they can, like, spice up your game. You can add collectibles. It's going to be really fun. Okay, so how do we get into collectibles? First of all, I'm going to hide the DX variable because I don't need it. Um, how do we make collectibles? Well, it's actually pretty... It's easier than you might think. So I'm going to create a new, new sprite. So paint a new sprite. Call this one collect. Doubles. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we are going to, um, let's say, uh, let's paint a sprite. So, um, I'm gonna make a little coin costume. So, just make it yellow, like this. That's kind of yellow. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's yes. And you know what? Um. That's good enough for now. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it like this. You can do whatever you want. I'm bad at art, so I'm just gonna keep it like this. Uh, if you're good at art or something, you can share it, share it somehow. That would be great. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Okay. So how do we add collectibles to the game? Well, what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna re. We're we're gonna add some simple scripts to position and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a when I receive um, start project, right? When I receive start project, I'm going to hide this sprite. Um, first, I'm going to hide the sprite. And when I receive reset, right? When I receive the reset block, I'm going to delete all clones. So that just means delete this clone. So I'll just go ahead and delete all the clones because I want to use clones for this. It will be easier to use. Okay, so I'm gonna create. Uh, I so okay. That sounds good for now. Um, when I receive setup, right? So setup. Um, we want to set up our coins, right? Or collectibles. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide this, right? And we're gonna go ahead and go to x zero y zero. Now we don't have an x y position yet. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy um, our XY position from another sprite. So first of all, we're going to grab a tick block. And we're going to go to our player. And where is our movement script? So we are going to grab a position block. We're going to grab this position block. We're going to toss it into collectibles. Great. And then when I receive tick, position. Okay, that, that's easy. That's very easy. Okay. And inside setup, we're going to just go ahead and set x to 0, set y to 0. Okay, so this means our collectible will be... So what I'm going to do is I want to spawn collectibles here. So um, let's see. So where do we start? We start at 1801, negative 200. 1, 200. So maybe we can start spawning one at negative 1, 800, y. It's very high up. Yeah, okay. It's right around. You know what? I can just show it. Yeah. Okay, the, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good, I think. Um, uh, maybe, like, show it. Yes, okay, that's much better. I think, yeah, uh, I can get that from here. Yes, that's great. Okay, so now we have our collectible set up. And we are going to be using our uh, level for, for the first time, probably. Uh, our level variable. So we want to spawn different collectibles based on what level it is, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab an if-else. And I'm going to put an if level equals 1, if level equals 1, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and clone, clone a costume. Uh, so we're, I'm going to go ahead and create clone of myself. Um, and you know what? I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set x, set x to negative 1800 set y to negative 11, 1150, right? No, 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 1150, create a clone of myself. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But, um, this is going to be kind of a pain if I want to duplicate this, but this will work. So let's just change the y again, so I can be 1200, Right, uh, clones I have to show. So when I start as a clone, 
show. Show, 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 show. <laughs> Where's the show? Okay, there's the show. Okay. Um, yes, okay, there we go. So now we have two, but this is kind of a pain, and this will get very long. So I want to, uh, let's create a new block. Let's call it clone at, um, clone at x, y. So clone at number input x, number input y. And let's run without screen refresh. Okay. So clone at x, y, what we're going to do is we're just going to stick this here. Um, we can get rid of this. And we're just going to replace those with clone at blocks. Okay. Clone at 1800, negative 1800, negative 1150. Clone at negative 1800, negative 1100, maybe? Yeah, that sounds okay. Um, and then we're just going to go like this. So set x to the x, set y to y. Okay, let's see if that works. Yes, that seems to be working. Okay, one problem I'm noticing. Um, I can go off screen, right? If I go off screen, if, if these part of things go off screen, Scratch won't let them go off screen. So actually, I can see them on the left side of the screen, which is kind of annoying. Now, there are two ways to do this. There's a code way, and there's a cheaty way. I'm going to do the cheaty way because it's easier. Um, and there's a code way. You might want to look that up somewhere. But the cheaty way is just to add a giant box like this around the whole costume. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to select the rect rectangle tool. I'm going to draw a giant box around around the sprite. I'm going to go ahead and center it. And I'm going to set its fill to blank. So this will actually fix it, um, which is very nice. That's a very nice hack. Because, like, y yeah, see, now it's off screen and I, can I can't see it. So that's nice. So, of course, there's a code way where you can just hide it. But I think that's much nicer than just... I, I think that's just easier than the coding way so and i like easier ways so we're <coughs> sorry we're gonna do that um awkward cough okay okay so okay so now we have collectibles in the game so how are we gonna do this um well we want them to be well collected right because we we don't want well we don't want collectibles to not be collectible right because that's kind of a bit weird right um yeah so first of all before we before we make the collectibles collectible um what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that there's no extra sprites so i'm gonna make sure at the end of this we're gonna go ahead and set x to because uh you might notice that we are not wait no that would be that makes sense right wait a second yeah, okay, never mind, never mind. Um, yeah, so let's make them collectible, okay? So, how are we going to make them collectible? Well, what we're going to do is we are going to be able to collect them, but we want to be able to, we want to be able to make a way to position them, right? And it's kind of annoying to, um, you know, uh, like, guess all these positions where you want to put them, right? Because you have to enter these numbers here, and it's kind of annoying to have to put them. So I'm going to make a really easy way so that you can just um, just click your mouse and then it'll show you where your, where your mouse is in relation to the scroll x, scroll y. So I'm going to go to the backdrops because backdrops are really easy to make these kind of scripts. And I'm going to create a new variable, call it mouse. And this will basically show where my mouse pointer is. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah basically where my mouse pointer is. And I'm going to click OK. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set mouse to, and actually I'm going to link this up to a hotkey, so go to events, when, um, maybe M for mouse. M, when M key pressed, set mouse to, and I'm going to grab a join, so I can get the X and the Y. We're going to join mouse X plus scroll X. Actually, we need two joins, so put one join inside the other join, grab... And inside the middle join, put a comma and then a space. So we're going to need two joins. So we're going to first, we're going to put, um, in the first one, we're going to put a, a, an addition. And in the second one, we're also going to put an addition. And inside the first addition, we're going to do mouse x plus scroll x. And in the second one, we're going to do mouse y, mouse y plus scroll y. 
All right, and we can just show our mouse mouse variable. Um, so if I press M over, let's say, this this first this collectible, let's see, that'll be whoa. Okay, that's a long number, but um, but you get the point, right? So that's about let's see, that's yeah, that's about right. That's eleven forty eight. So that's about eleven fifty. So that's actually very accurate. So that's good. So if I let's say I want to put a collectible. Um, let's say I want to put one right here, right, where my mouse is. I just have to press M. Um, that's very inaccurate, so what I'm going to do is... Um, you know what? I, I'll, I'll just round it. So, um, I'm just going to put a clone at negative 1545, negative 1189, right? And let's see if that worked. Yeah, okay, that, that worked very well. So I'm actually going to, this is kind of annoying, so I'm going to go ahead and round these numbers because they're getting kind of annoying. So just grab a round, put this in here, right? And round, put the mouse wide plus scroll Y in there. So, yep, that should, let's see, I want to put one right here. Yes, yeah, so now it's rounded to the nearest whole number, which is nice. So, yeah, great. So, now you can add collectibles as much as you want, but the problem is, these aren't collectible right now, so that's kind of a problem, because collectibles are kind of supposed to be collectible, right? So, how do we make these collectible? Well, it's pretty easy, actually. What we have to do is, what we're going to do is, basically, inside our collectible sprite, inside our, a, inside tick, right? Inside our tick. Uh, inside our tick re uh, reporter or whatever it's called, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an if, go to a control if, and inside this if it's gonna be touching player, All right? Touching. If we're touching the player, if we're touching the player, we're gonna delete this clone. It's that easy. So yes, okay, there we go. Let's see. So if we touch this, yay! Okay, it's collectible. Yeah. Okay. Great, so now we have collectibles that you can add to your game. That's great. So now we have a way to add collectibles. Now, I kind of want to counter for um, like how many collectibles we've gotten. So let's create a new variable. Let's call it coins, uh, coins gathered. And let's make this all caps. Coins. coins gathered for all sprites and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to a big display like this whatever it's called large readout yes and I'm just gonna put this right here and I'm just gonna go ahead and inside the player inside the start game I'm gonna set coins gathered to zero and inside collectibles I'm gonna change coins gathered by one when you're touching the player like this let's see so I can't collect it from here so uh, yes one Two, three, if I die, what happens if I die? It resets to zero, all the coins come back, which is good. If I restart the game, yes, all the coins come back. That This is great, because now we have a great system. What if I die to lava? Yep, yep, all is fine. So now we have a way to add collectibles. So now we're going to go ahead and add a way. Next time, we're going to add a way to move on to the next level, because right now it's only one level, so it's not that in interesting, is it? So, for now, that's enough for me, because it's been 15 minutes, so. Um, okay, so, thank you for watching, I hope you like this video. Uh, go ahead, feel free to make as uh, big of a level as you want, um, or as complex as you want. Uh, next time we'll be adding an exit portal, uh, and probably a, way, uh, a few more levels. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, please subscribe, like, and share this video with others. And if you didn't, do whatever you want. Um, and I, I'll see you in part six of how to make a scrolling game in Scratch. And I will see you see you at how to do how to do stuff leaving.com. And see you next time.